Hello everyone! Welcome back to a new Paint by Numbers video. I hope you're all doing okay. Today I have a bit of a different layout and I have a few towels laid on top of each other because as you guessed from the title I'm going to show you how I iron my Paint by Numbers before I start. So this is the Paint by Numbers I am going to iron today. It's oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it is the painting that you guys voted I should be doing next in my unboxing haul. So I'm going to prepare it today so I can start. The damage from transport isn't too bad. There, it's mostly from just being rolled up. I have a bit of a bump there, and the edges are um, all twisted. But yeah, nothing too major, no faults or anything. So let's get the iron ready. And let's prepare the canvas. So we need to get rid of any plastic that remains on the canvas, like this bit that I need to remove. And I always put it upside down. So I iron the back in case I make any stains or I don't know, I just feel safer to iron the back rather than the actual paint by numbers image. Um, so we're all ready. I'm going to get the iron. And I have put it on the lowest setting. Hope you can see that. I always start off with the lowest setting. If I need to increase it, I always can, but I cannot go back. So be safe and start on the low setting and then just slowly go over it don't linger too long in one spot we don't want it to heat overheat some companies use different materials than others but in general the canvases you can iron them big disclaimer though if there's one thing you take away from this video is that you cannot uh, iron your canvas if you have already um, gessoed it or painted it, even a little spot, because it will look ugly. The paint cannot tolerate the heat from the iron, so if that's you, I'm sorry, but we we'll have to find a different way of getting rid of the crinkles in your canvas. Uh, maybe just use the old-fashioned books method and see if that helps a bit. Um, but yeah, definitely don't iron it because I think your paint cracks and it's not really pretty. So do this before you start with your paint by numbers. I know I've made this mistake before, <laughs> but before guys, take that, remember that. <laughs> Also, of course, it's best to do this on an ironing board rather than on the towels. I think I got a fold there just because I used the towels, but I wanted to show you guys how I do it, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. It's definitely less um, crinkled. I hope you can see that. And um, I will give it another go just to... <laughs> Make sure I have everything out and then I will show you the end result. It's really quick uh, and easy you guys. Of course be safe with the iron, it's really hot um, but it's doable I think for most people. It doesn't cost anything and you have a straight canvas at the end of it so that's great, that really helps with painting and makes it more enjoyable. So don't skip this step, it only takes 5 minutes, it took me 5 minutes, so it's really easy and quick. Alright, so that's it for me I think. I am happy it doesn't look rolled up anymore. It's not perfect, but I don't want to put it on a higher... Um, heat because it's just the edges which I will cut off anyway so and the canvas itself where I will be painting looks all straight 
so that's good for me. And everyone has their own preferences, of course, so if you want to um, put it on a higher, you should. I will remove the towel so it's all on a flat surface and hope you can see it's all nice and flat. And it lays down by itself, I don't need to tape it, I could if I want to. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video until the end. I hope it was useful. Let me know down in the comments how it goes. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up! <laughs> If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It would really help a small YouTuber like me. And I make paint by numbers videos twice a week and diamond painting videos. So hope to see you again next video. Bye!